Hey babes, hello, hello, hello. So I will be working on a few spirit boxes um, tomorrow after school. And um, I wanted to take this time real quick to spiritually read the situation, okay? Um, this is Ava, and she is now an adult. And um, she is not an adult in this video where she's speaking. And what I gather from it, okay, is... Oh, boy. She grew up fast, meaning she's been in survival mode from a very young age. Um, what she's in when she's talking is survival mode. Um, she don't blink. She blinks maybe like two or three times the whole video. Um, as for... <clears throat> Mr. Diddy over here. Um, I can't help but wonder where his hand is. Um, not only that, but I feel like he could be grooming. Okay. Um, everybody in this video. Not just her. Okay. I see two of his sons in this video. And they come off as very adolescent, but entitled. Um, they come off very groomed. Okay, let's just say that. And I think Ava should come forward. Um, now's the time. Now is the time to say something, Ava. People are going to have your back. I promise. I feel she's not only a victim of Mitty, but she's a victim of two people in the back. Ever Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. I want, you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. Now, I do have to pause this so I don't get a strike. I apologize. You still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. Please, please tell the story. Everybody knows what he did with Justin. So. <laughs> His hand is down below the whole time. Keeping her really close to him. The way they're looking at her in the back is like a adolescent boy about to get some. Okay. Um, I'm not saying this happened for real. This is all alleged. Okay. But Ava, hey, the time is now. Okay, baby. Hmm. On the streets. <laughs> so she has great parents, but she was living on the streets. They found her on the streets and picked her up. Hmm. What was poor Ava into? And Papa Combs decided <laughs> that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me. And decided to pick me up. Did you see the third kid in the back? He looked over behind <clears throat> and across from Diddy. And then he looked down where Diddy's hands are. I'll go back. To pick me up. And said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't go further. Hold on. Right there. Man. So then he saw me and decided so to right where the eyes went down and said to come inside and mm -hmm. play with his kids. <laughs> so now she has to go play with his kids. There's three boys there. 
and a younger one. Look at that. This part. Child also put please, please tell the story. The one in the green shirt just put his arm around him like, yeah, we into something. So, <laughs> they start laughing. The He's reassuring him on his shoulder. Papa comes. Shaking him back and forth like, yeah, yeah. That he would like He's shaking his head, yeah, him. everybody's, yeah, yeah. So then he saw me. He's acting like, yeah, you're getting the story right. Keep going, keep going. Like she had to rehearse to say this. And decided he looks at the camera. And said to come inside and play with his kids. To come inside, oh my God, and play with his kids. And this seems like a script just by how he was dragging his head like, yes, yeah, spit it out. You got it. Keep going. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yay. They're, he's coming inside to play with. Oh, my God. There's three of them. And he even peeps that, though. And he's over exaggerating the laugh, like super immaturely. Like he knows. And look at the own the little girl in the back. She's looking at the boy in the green shirt like and him. Like, oh, she knows things. I don't want nobody here. We want to get it clear. I, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids. Charlie Steron. Everybody that's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take. She's telling them how she's living on the streets and they're all laughing and celebrating at her. Look how scared she looks there. She holds composure good, but that's what I see. I'm really sad for her, and I really feel like she's been hurt, and I feel like she's been groomed to think like, I say it like, um, like it's okay, like, you know, these are the top of the top people, that's fine, but it's not fine, it's not. Anyways, heartbreaks for her. I know she's grown up now, but I just feel like there's a lot of things deep down there inside her that can come out now. You can let it go now and tell, tell, tell somebody. For real. If you're going to have support. I think you could do it anonymously. I don't think so. No, never mind. But still. My heart goes out to you.